today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am my name is Lisa and I'm a cruelty for youtuber that does a lot of makeup content and today I'm doing multiple looks with one palette and I am using the meet me in the under world I always want to say meet me in the underground I don't know why but meet me in the underworld from Louis Cosmetics I have done a first impression with this I can leave it up here and I am going to do, I think, three looks with this one. I always film this intro, like, in the beginning, and then I never know, do I have time, do I have inspiration, and do I have energy to film more than two looks? I think I do, so I think it will be three looks with this palette, and... The palette looks like this so it's a very like grungy palette and this was so so hyped and yeah I liked it in my first impression so I think we just hop into this so for the first look I want to do something pink and I did swatch a little bit before and I want to use this shimmer at least that is called poetry and I think I may be want to take snake bike and maybe hate it I don't know how dark I want this to be but I want to do something pink and I think I will start with footsteps this one I did use this in my first impression and take snake bite and poetry and we will see how it will go so I will start with the lighter one and this palette or this brand like overall I, I haven't really heard about it until this palette and then for a while it felt like everybody was talking about it and <sighs> now I have cat hair in my eye I think and I think it sold out pretty fast the first time and I bought it on a restock and this is a UK brand And yeah, I think the color story is really good. I think it's maybe not super unique, but yeah. Maybe kind of unique. <laughs> but it has, I haven't like been digging into this palette that much. I don't know why, because I was so excited when I bought it, but yeah. Now I'm doing multiple looks at least. It's going to be fun to test out more shades and see if the palette is good. Yeah. I don't like this shade and as I said I used this in my first impression as well. And I think it it is a really good shade. And okay, one thing, like do you see my dress? I don't know how much you can see of it, but do you see it's cats on it? I this is a dress with pockets. I love it. <laughs> I bought it. Why do I even talk about my dress? I don't know. Am I a crazy cat lady? Yes, I am. It is originally from Monkey, but I bought this second hand and I. Monkey doesn't sell this dress anymore, but I like. I just saw it on the second hand website and I was like, it's cats on it. I need it and that was all about my new favorite dress and I think I'm planning on doing a really like simple half cut crease it feels like that is the thing that I'm doing right now but you know what I have two more looks maybe one more look but I think two more looks to do with this palette so I can do one half cut crease so I will go in with snake bites and I swatched this and it just didn't be it was so dark but we will see but so i think we're going with haters later but i will try and now i have catter in my nose you must be so sick of me complaining about catter but if you have cats you know the struggles okay this shade it isn't like super dark it is a good shade but I wished it was a little bit darker 
But it's not patchy or anything. I just wish it was a little, little darker. So we'll go in with Hades to deepen it down a little bit because I want it. I think I want it a little bit deeper. I'm not sure, but I think I want to make it a little bit deeper. And on this eye, I, if you <laughs> have been here, you know that I sometimes get like a dry patch on this eye when I'm not super good with my night eye cream and I didn't take it yesterday and not the day before and now I have gotten like a super dry red patch out here but I think this works I don't know I, I know that my eye will get like this if I don't moisturize this part out here of my eye but the one part of me is sometimes like okay I just want to go to bed I take eye cream in the morning like I have a thicker night eye cream that I need to use because it is so dry. But I think I solved it. For the rest of my lid I will go in with poetry in this one and when I swatched this it looked so good so I hope it will good with the brush. Maybe I need to cut this. Or I just need to pack it on. Or it's just lighter. Okay, do you know what? I want to cut this. I want to cut this crease. Because I really want this to be super, super, super pink. I want to take my NYX glitter primer that I, I need to buy a new one because this is like it's out almost out at least come on come on come on I got some so okay doing a little cut crease then I'm going in with poetry again and we will see now It's more what I wanted. Okay, so this is a really light pink shimmer. And I think it would look great maybe as a topper on its own or as an inner corner highlight. But I wanted it to be really really opaque so I went in with my glitter primer and now it is the way I want it to be. I'm just going in with the other pink that I have on my lid and blend it together. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted it to be. So I'm really happy with this, how this is looking, but I actually think that I will go in with, yeah, I will go in with Hades. <laughs> this one and deepen down my outer corner. In my first impression, I did use the black one and was deepening down my outer corner. And that black, so pigmented. So I'm going to maybe be a little bit more careful with this Hades. So I will tap my brush off, then just Put it out here. Okay, maybe this isn't as this isn't as dark as the black one. No, apparently not because this is a dark brown. But yeah. okay, and I want some in my crease as well. It made a little bit of a difference at least. And that is just what I wanted, just something, not like too much, but so it's not like super flat out here, but I still want it 
kind of bright so this shimmer is really good so I do really like how those lids are looking the poetry is so nice on top of the glitch primer so I will take away my fallout fix my base and my lower lash and then I come back with the first finished look the finished look I do you really like it? For my watch line I took Peach Fuzz from Colourpop and on my lips I took Riot from Lang Prime. And I love this. I started to like pink more and more and on my lower lash I just did take the one that I had in my crease and the one out here. So the colours I used for this first look I will try to hold the palette. Poetry, Hades, Snakebite and Footsteps and I I do really like this look. This is what I wanted and I am super pleased with it even though I had to cut my crease but I don't know if I really mind because yeah I don't think I mind so yeah I really really like this look so I don't know what I want to do if for my next look that will be a problem <laughs> when I go to film it. But this is first look, I really, really, really like it. I think it turned out great. I don't know with the lipstick, but you know what? I don't have that metal pink lipstick. Not the pink that I wanted, so I took this and I think it works. So yeah, if you want to see more looks with the Meet Me in the Underworld palette from Lewis Cosmetics, just keep on watching. What is this? I don't know. It is time for the second look with the Meet Me in the Underworld. I always want to say underground. Meet Me in the Underworld from Loose Cosmetics. And if you just hop into this, this is how the palette looks. So for my second look, I want to do a halo eye. And I will do a gold and a green halo eye. But I'm not like 100% sure how. I want to do this halo and with what colors but I will start with I think I will take nymph even though I think it's maybe a little bit too like a bright green but I will start with that one and then take woodland out here and then for my halo we just have to wait and see so I will start with nymph and now I have one cat I will start with Nymph. Okay, maybe this isn't that bright. No, it's not. I haven't swatched all of these shades because I didn't plan to use this because I thought like it was going to be a little bit too bright. And now I wonder why I take the crease shade when I'm doing a halo. It's a little bit late to change that right now because I usually do not take a crease shade when I'm doing a halo eye. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But today, apparently, I do. I do really like this one, so now I will go in with the more mossier green that is woodland, and I will take this on my outer part my inner part. When I swatched this, this didn't look super pigmented. I think it's better on my eye. Maybe not super... Yeah, it felt a little bit meh. But now it looks good. And now I really start questioning my choice of taking a crease shade. See how it works now with packing it on in here. And I, I don't think you can see her. Astrid is behind me. And I think she is doing maybe some shenanigans. I have a mirror in front of me and I can see her in the mirror. So for my halo, I will go in with Orpheus, this one, and I think I also will take Forest to blend it together. But I will start with the gold one, Orpheus, and see 
how it will look when I swatch this. I don't know what I felt, but I think I will test it without the glitter primer first. I did use a glitter primer in my first look. So I maybe want to do it in this one as well. We will see. I don't know. What I feel right now, I'm not like super thrilled about this shimmer formula. <laughs> it's workable as you can see, but it's not my favorite. It's more like one of these that you have to pack it on. It is nothing wrong with it, but it's just not my favorite. But I will talk more about this in my review part of this palette. But this looks good. I have nothing to complain about. It does work like this. But it is like a little bit flaky and I'm not in 100% control over it, it feels like. And I don't know why I did take a crease shade. But okay. I will try to have a brush. It can be a good start. And take this dark shimmer green, this forest, and see how this will look just to blend it together with the matte one. Doesn't feel like it can lay over the matte one that much. Do you even see what I'm fiffling about? Fiffling. What I'm doing? It maybe deepened down the matte one a little bit. Maybe. Maybe this is good. I'm going in with the gold one. Okay, so I think this... This works. I don't know if the shimmery green one did super much of a difference. Maybe I can... If I put the gold one on this eye and we can compare the eyes, we can see if it was like necessary or not. I don't know how the white balance and everything will be and how much you can see because I have two different lamps. I think it actually looks better on this eye. If you can see it like a shit because it feels like this blended a little bit better together than on this side and it feels like the gold popped a little bit more when I had the green the shimmer green on the sides actually so maybe it did some visible difference maybe it is because this shimmer green deepens down the matte one a little bit so the contrast is getting a little bit bigger it might that might be the case is it my favorite golden green halo eye no is it the worst golden green halo eye i've done i don't think so do i like it yeah, i actually think i do so i will take out the fallouts fix my base use a lipstick to this and we will see how this will look in the end i think i just will take green on my low lash because it feels like if I'm going to take the gold one, I think I'm going to have gold specks all over my face because it's very flimsy. And I could spray it, but I think I will just go with green and then take a gold pen in my waterline instead. So I will have something. And I might took something in 
as an inner corner highlight. We will see what I will do. We will see what feelings I get. So I will fix the look and then I come back. The look is done and for my waterline, no, my lower lash, I just took whoop, trying to not drop the palette for my under eyes. I took lower lash line, <laughs> I took woodland and enchanted in my inner corners. On my waterline, I took wildcat from Colourpop and on my lips, I took myth from Lethal. And I like this halo eye. I don't think I should have taken Nymph, the one in my crease, because I don't think... I think it would have looked better without it. I think it's a little bit too green. I wanted a little bit more mossy, not like green green. But other than that, I like this. I think when I took the matte... I'm going to try to open the palette again the matte, <laughs> the shimmer green, this one, I think it looked better together with the gold one, so yeah, I like this look, I don't think it's my absolute favorite green halo eye, but I like it, I have some more thoughts about this palette now, what I feel about it, but I will take it in my review because I still want to do one more look with it, so it's going to be three looks. The only thing I am a little bit worried with with this look is I think this gold shimmer is going to be all over my face when I take this way. And I don't like that, <laughs> but I like shimmer shadows. So yeah, this was my second look. I like it. It's not my favorite. I like the first look better, but I have nothing to complain about it. Or maybe some things. But we will get there. So yeah, if you want to see the third and last look, just keep on watching. It is time for the third look and I want to do something dark and shimmery. <laughs> so my plan is to take Myth in my crease because I haven't used it yet. And take Underworld and even down out the corner. And then I think I will take Muses and your your dice. Your dice this one on my lid so I will start with this myth and we will just see where this is taking me and I think I look forward to my review on this because I have some things to say about this palette but we will see now when I've used these shades I think it's only one shade that I haven't used what was this? One shade that I haven't used in this palette. And yeah. I have some things that I want to talk about. So now I'm going in with the black one. And I tested out this out in my first impression. And it was really, really black. So I will see. And I only used it on top of another shade. But we will see now. So I will tap it off. And then, yeah, this is really black. And like, I have never been super thrilled about a black eyeshadow before. But now, like this, this year and maybe a little bit in last year. I started to lack, lack, like black eyeshadow. Okay, I'm taking a little bit on the tip of this brush and trying to blend it up in my crease. Okay. I'm going to take my crease brush and take this in my crease. Okay, I don't know really what shape I want on this black one. And I don't know if I want it like the whole way in my crease. I think we just have to go with the flow with this. I think like this, this bothers me a little bit. I, I guess that I'm getting a little bit older and my eyelids are a little bit 
not that smooth anymore. But I'm going to cover that with shimmer. So I will try to do the same on the other eye and not take too much black. So if we go into the shimmer part, I I think I actually want to cut my crease again. I've cut my crease in every one of these. No, I didn't do it in the look before this. But I... The shimmers are not that opaque that I want them to be. But you know what, I can actually test this the stark one, this one, and then because I want to take this the most part and then take this in my like inner corners. So we can test with this muses and see if this is yeah, maybe this is better. Maybe I don't need my glitter primer. No, I actually don't think I do. Okay, so this might be my favorite shimmer in this palette so far. Do you hear her? It's Ines. I'm at it. <laughs> you see her? She does this, she sits, we have a little balcony for the cats in one of our windows and she's sitting there and then it's like she's getting a little bit afraid of something and she like start to scream and come running to you. Now she's behind me. Ines. But then it's just like, you need to talk just a little bit to her and then she's going away again, so we don't know what is up with her. But it feels like she's like getting a little bit afraid and just needs us to be like, talk to her like we are here. She's always done that. Okay, do you know what I, this combo, I love this. This is exactly what I wanted it to be. This shimmer was so, so good. So I will go in with the lighter shimmer. This one, I'm not trying to pronounce it again. And I will take that on the wrist, like in here. We'll see if this is as amazing. Okay, these two shimmers look really, really good together. Okay, now it feels a little bit better. Do I have to rethink my my review on this palette? Maybe. So I am really happy with these lids. I think the shimmers looks really, really good. So I will take away the fallouts I have. I have some black here. Not so much here. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my lower lash, and I think I will go in with the shade I have in my crease. Maybe deepen it down with the black. I don't know, maybe I take another shade. And then I think I will go with the light shimmer like in my inner corner as well. So I will fix my base, my under eyes, and then I come back with the finished look. And then we're going to hop in to the review. The look is done and I am back to red lips. So for my waterline I used Get Paid from Colourpop and on my lips I used Rumors from Nabla. This is one of my favorite reds I have. I think it's a perfect red. So this look, I love it. I love it together with the red lip and I like that it is a little bit darker and this might be my favorite look actually. I really liked the first look as well. The second look I liked, but lipstick on my teeth. Um but I don't know. But okay. Should we just hop in to the review part of this palette? Yes. So first off, Lewis Cosmetics 
sort of move. <laughs> Lewis Cosmetics is an indie brand from the UK. This palette has somebody shoe on. I think it's Astrid. Um, this is vegan and the brand is cruelty free because I'm a cruelty free YouTuber. And first of all, I love I love the packaging on this palette. It is so nice and I really love the color story as well and it has a big mirror. I love that. So yeah, I think the color story and the all over palette is such a nice palette. I think it's grungy but not like too grungy. So there I am. I just love everything about the packaging. And I think that it came pretty fast actually. From the UK I had to pay shipping, no not shipping customs, but that's what you get when you live in Sweden. And nothing to complain about there and it come it came so nicely packed and uh, I didn't take a picture of any, on it but it really did. So from that brand like that, I like it. So let's dig into the palette. I... I don't know. Okay, so hear me out. I have tested all the shades except for this one. Some of the shades I have tested more. My biggest pet peeve with this palette is that the shadows look like something and on the eyes they look like something else. It's nothing like super, that is super off, but some of these shades especially doesn't look as they do in the palette. I don't mind it that much, but it's like a little pet peeve of mine. But the shimmers I think are true to color what you can see in the pan. <sighs> okay, it feels like I'm going to say some bad things about this palette, but just hear me out. I don't like to, I, I normally don't bash on brands and I don't like to do it and especially when it's a smaller indie brand. I'm not going to bash on it but just hear what I'm saying, we will get through this. So if we start with the matte shades, is one more matte shade than the shimmer and I think the mattes are the best in this palette, like this black is so deep and I think it's workable as well, that makes me happy. I really like this shade as well and I think that the matte shadows are good, but they need some building up. I though think that is a good thing because then you don't like get too much color at once that you build it up and it doesn't look strange when you build it up, it doesn't get patchy, it gets even, but if you want more pigmented pigment, you know that English is not my first language, sometimes I don't think even my second. And yeah, I think they are buildable and it works, but just so you know, some of them need some building up. I really think that Myth is really really good. I like the Nymph shade as well. The black one is really good. And Footsteps is also really good. And then if we go into the shimmers. Like the shimmers I have today, this one and this one, they are really really opaque. They were really easy to work with. And I think that this Muses did good on top of the black matte shade, so that is a really good grade. But some of the others, like Poetry, I needed, or needed, I took a glitter primer and I don't have anything against glitter primers. I don't mind to use them, I don't think a shadow is bad because I need to use a glitter primer, but when I use other indie brands, like if you take Shroud for example, they they have shimmers that you do not need a glitter primer whatsoever. You don't need to spray it. They are so, so opaque and so like intense. Not all of these are. They are workable. Do I need to really hold the palette up anymore? But I think some of the shades, especially the shimmers, 
are a little bit weak. They work with the glitter primer and I guess they work if you spray them, but just on their own on an eyeshadow base, they are a little bit weak. But I like them and I really like the color story. I think it's a really good color story and it hasn't been hard to do a look with this palette. It hasn't been hard to do free looks on palette with this palette. And even though it is very many shades, I don't think it's, it's not a hard palette to do looks with and it's not a boring palette to do looks with. And I think it's a good mix with shimmers and mattes. So I can't like remember what I said in my first impression and the review part on that because it was a while ago. But I think this is more like normal eyeshadow palettes and not like compared to other indie brands. I mostly use the indie brands and that is what I'm used to and that is how I know how to work with them. I think this is more similar to a normal like maybe Colourpop instead of like Menagerie or Kaleidos or Shroud. I don't think it's anything bad with it. I just, just know that and I think that the thing is good with this one. If you aren't that used to work with more colorful shades, I think this is a perfect palette for you because it's easy to not get too much. You will not like destroy a look. Maybe with the black, so be easy. Take it easy with that one. But I think it's a good palette if you're not used to work with super pigmented shadows and also I don't mind it. I am just not what I'm used to when I'm using uh, in the brand palette. But some of the shimmers are really good, like the ones I have on today. And the mattes I think are really good. Some of them aren't true to pan. But yeah. I have nothing really to complain about. It's just my preference. But I really like the palette and I think it's a fun color story. I think it is an amazing packaging on the palette. So yeah. I can recommend it, and I do, but just be aware that if you use a lot of indie brands, maybe this isn't as impactful, as bright as you want to do. But if you want to do more indie brands and want to dig into maybe not only browns, this is a palette for you, I think, because it is it is easy to work with. And you have the opportunity to build up shadows. It's just not like in your face directly. So yeah, I think that is all I want to say. And uh, I like the palette. It is not one of my favorite palettes. But I like the palette. And this has been fun to do these free looks. And I really hope that you have liked them as well. And I hope that you got some out of this review part. That is all I'm going to say, so if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do, so you don't miss any of my videos, and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!